Hey everybody, tomorrow is the big day of shopping at Goodwill for me. It's their massive sale that I always hit every single time. And I'm gonna be there. I work a job two to three days a week, mainly because I enjoy it, but it is currently 1.30 in the morning and I am going to be at Goodwill tomorrow morning when they open at 9 a.m. Just to give you the kind of idea what kind of dedication it can take. So I will be shopping from open to close. As many Goodwills as I can hit. Last month I hit seven Goodwills. Let's see if I can hit seven, possibly eight. Here's hoping. We were running a little bit late today. We got to Goodwill right at nine o'clock when they opened and we were shopping till the exact moment we had to be leaving to get the wife to work. And I'm not looking at the camera because I'm driving right now. So excuse me while I'm driving. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit, but not a whole lot. I'm not happy about that new vintage Vogue Goodwill, but I still did get some good stuff. But when we get to Goodwill number two, then I will at least stop, show you what we picked up, and then we'll go shopping, and I'll show you what we get when we leave. Okay, now I have to minute show you what we got at the Goodwill store number one. Picked up... An HP DeskJet printer, brand new in the box. The bottom it had been opened, but it is still, as you can see, brand new in the original plastic wrap and everything. So that I paid, where is that, there is that sticker, I paid $5 for, selling for about $30, $35, and I picked it up this Pee Wee Herman shirt just because I thought it was cute. I hadn't seen a Pee Wee Herman shirt before. Hey, back out here. And so I figured, eh, I'm not even going to bother looking it up. I'll pick it up and then I'll look it up later. And I thought this was absolutely hilarious. I hadn't seen a t-shirt of this before. But yes, we all have the fever for more cowbell. But all right. That is from Goodwill Store number one. I am on my way into Goodwill Store number two. Okay, everybody, we just left Goodwill Store number two. It is the one that is right next to the Vintage Vogue Goodwill, which I have talked about previously, and they took all the good stuff out. Here is the one item that I left with after shopping for an entire hour just because I refused to leave without anything, and I paid 25 cents for it just a mug. I am I am really not happy about this, but I didn't even bother looking it up. I figured I'll just go ahead and pick it up just so I can leave with one thing. So, all right, that is Goodwill Store number two on our way to Goodwill Store number three. Okay, we just left Goodwill Store number three, and all we really found that was really good was a whole bunch of t-shirts. I found an ACDC t-shirt that was just really cool and just to show you a couple here is a Pink Floyd t-shirt 1973 tour dark side of the moon and we were standing at the checkout and a lady just happens to put back a coach purse and I don't know much about handbags but I do know that coach is a good name and I figured I can take a chance with buying it for two dollars to see what I can get out of it. But other than that, that was about it. T-shirts and a purse. Yep. All right, that is Goodwill stop number three. On to Goodwill stop number four. Yep. Okay, everybody, we've been standing in line for about 20 minutes, so I figured I'd go ahead and take the time since we were standing here bored to death. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Sonia. We picked up a Disney mug. Well, I figure 25 cents. I can't go wrong on that one. And I was shocked when I actually looked this one up. A Hulk Mania t-shirt. I don't know what it is about it, but evidently it's selling for like $35. And as my daughter has the hangers all tangled up, we got a Batman shirt. <laughs> I think we, that was all we really got that was really interesting. You really got tangled up, didn't you, Sonia? What did you do, child? We got a couple Superman shirts, so that's one of them. 
<laughs> you really got a number on that. I've had a couple of these before. They sell for about fifteen dollars. And Big Bang Theory, and I hope I can keep the wife from trying to steal it from me. Oh, there's the other Superman shirt. Yeah, there we go. Superman shirt. Alright, we're moving along. Alright, Sonia, you're pulling them off the hangers now. That makes it much more This is one that I actually wanted to point out to everybody. Zoo York. I don't know what it is about the brand, but it's some sort of skater brand thing that kids seem to love right about now. I've got another one in there somewhere. But they are just really popular right now. So remember that one for future reference. Zoo York is popular. Express t-shirts, they usually sell for about 15 or higher. And the next one. I said one, not three. There we go. Uh, and there's another Zoo York t-shirt. I really have no idea what it is about the Zoo York, but they're just really well. That one I think resells for about 35. And of course, I'm sure everybody knows Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I only want one, so you not two. Walt Disney t-shirts, I'm sure everybody knows Walt Disney sells really well. And if you can read that at all, that is an Avatar movie t-shirt. Alright, we are moving right along, finally getting somewhere. And was able to kill a few minutes while showing you the video. So here we are in the Goodwill, one of them that we shop at. Alright, that is Goodwill store number four. Four, and after we get out of here, it'll be off to Goodwill store number five. Okay, we have now left Goodwill store number five. We did get a blender. I'm not normally one to pick up stuff like this, but something said, give it a shot. And I was looking it up, and I figured I could spend five dollars and part it out. Evidently, just some of those in there will sell for like $30 a piece. No. So I figure I can take the chance on that and give it a shot. I picked up an Avenged 7-fold t-shirt. Band shirts, gotta love them. They go for really decent. And another Avatar t-shirt. So we got quantity. Love that. One listing. Bazinga. Now let's see if I can keep that one from the wife because she loves Big Bang Theory. And something from Blizzard, some sort of weird dragon horn, whatever you want to call it thing. But Blizzard Entertainment I know is really well, so that should go for about 15 And I have no idea who this Anthony Robbins personal power thing is. They didn't have all of them, but individually they're selling for about $15, $20 a piece. So, and they're all brand new in the original shrink wrap, so I figured I could take a chance. Unfortunately, some of them, the disc is loose, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. And this movie, I paid $1.50, and it's selling for about $18, $19, so I figured, why not? Finds today, we spent $28, and with my Goodwill Rewards card, I saved an extra... $15 and say hi Sonia. Miss I have to be in the shop because I am right there. There's daddy so I have to hang over the side and say hi. So alright that is Goodwill number five and we are on our way to Goodwill store number six. Almost forgot we also picked up a Prada handbag. I must be having luck with picking out handbags today because I got a coach and now I got a Prada. I don't even do handbags, but I know big names, so I figured let's give it a shot. So, all right, now we're leaving off to Goodwill number six. All right, we just left Goodwill store number six. I only got three t shirts and some DVDs. I picked up a Superman t shirt, another Avatar t shirt, but this one's a little bit different than the others. But even still, it was kind of cool. 
and a Dropkick Murphys t-shirt. This one's shipping up to Boston. And I got some Colts DVD, whatever they are. All I know is they sell for about $15 a piece. Yes, show everybody we went to Burger King for lunch. Alright, say hi everybody. Alright, now we are all exhausted. We are on our way to go get mommy from work and then on to Goodwill store number 7. All right, we just left Goodwill store number seven, and I'm just going to show you a few things real quick. I don't normally do bread makers, but this thing, uh, it just caught my eye. It looked different. I've never seen one with a round top before. It's like, okay, I'll look it up real quick. I mean, just, I paid half that price, of course, and just the paddle in there alone will sell for $15, so I figure I can't go wrong with that. Oop, there we go. And I already forget what this thing is. Uh, it's a handy steamer plus, and I paid $2. So I will be able to at least part that out. As a whole, it won't sell altogether, but if you part it out, it'll sell. So I'm going to part it out. And I was starting to worry. I didn't see any Spider Man shirts, but this is the closest I could get to Spider Man, and I'm happy now. And my daughter feels like she has to show off her little... I love bats! She loves bats. I don't know why, but she absolutely I adores really bats. And we got her... Bats. We found a bat candle holder, and she is madly okay, in love with it. Can you even see the bat, sweetie? There you go. <laughs> see? There's her bat. She's happy. I love All right. That is Goodwill store number seven, and I think we might be done. I don't think we have it in us to go to an eighth one because everybody's exhausted. So everybody say hi and bye. So hi, bye. All right. Get down. Dad, can you package that back up? I will in a second. There we go. Let's go. Good, good. I gotta. Want me to package it up? Okay, so I lied. We went to one more Goodwill, so that makes eight shopping trips today. All right, on this trip, we picked up a carousel rotisserie by Sunbeam. We paid half price, five dollars, and I don't know if it works, but if I part it out, I'll get somewhere around fifty bucks just for the parts. And over here, we've got a, can I get a good look at that, a Micro Cuisine Deca Sonic. It was $5, and it's got everything there. It's all unused. It's just a little bit dirty. Nobody on eBay or Amazon has it, so I will get to be the lucky one to have it exclusively, unless it's just the... Oh, I don't want to show it to you on my phone, so you're going to have a hard time finding it. So, all right, that is absolutely everything, and I will have down in the comments below of how much we've spent. Okay, so I will have down below in the description of basically how much we spent today and about how much I plan to get out of everything, and don't forget... Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below.